Yes, I'm Dr. Ahmed, I'm a plastic surgeon and uh, we, um, through my centre Divine Cosmetic Surgery, we are operating out of India from Delhi. Now, uh, we, we, we are here to basically understand what goes on in the mind of a gynecomastia patient, a patient who has this problem of a male chest enlargement. What do they face? Why do they want to do any procedure? Why are they willing to go to the extreme step of doing a surgery? So it's obvious that there's something to it which is forcing the patient to, uh, to seek a change. I have, uh, I have my patient here, he's coming from the United States, uh, Mr. Keith, and we're going to be starting the surgery soon and I've just caught him before we start the anesthesia and I'm sure you're already a little tense about the anesthesia. Move it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Yeah. Uh, so you, uh, this hospital is very well equipped and we've got an expert anesthetist is in the other room and we have uh, every kind of facility available here. Now, Keith, what, what made you think of doing a uh, male breast reduction? Yeah, so um, since childhood I've always had um, this issue with um, enlarged breast and when I was going through high school, actually it, even in, in, in grade school, um, it was something that was embarrassing and so um, I thought maybe if I work, work out a yeah. lot, um, that this would be something that would reduce. Um, and even to the point where I was, you know, way below my body weight, where really? I was supposed to be, uh, and um, even in my early 20s, uh -huh. I still had, you know, uh, enlarged breast. And so what you're saying is that in spite of being low in weight and exercising, it didn't make a difference here. Right. I mean, it was a small, small. little small difference, but you know, the the the, the enlarged breasts were still there. Yeah. So um, I remember uh, used to I used to do a lot of uh, weightlifting, and and the upper part would be you know become very well yeah. like yeah. you know shaped, but the bottom part would always you know sag. And I remember going to uh, this uh, fitness uh, facility mm -hmm. and talking to a. A trained uh, specialist, and he said that no amount of exercising yeah. that you're going to do is going to get rid of that. It's like it needs to be surgery. And it's actually very interesting because your trainer there told you that nothing will work except surgery. Mm -hmm. In India, we get a lot of patients who's, uh, who go to gym and their trainers tell them, don't do surgery and we'll correct you. So you realize that that's not correct at all. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, so you were kind of al almost said that you want to do a gynecomastic reduction surgery. Yeah, after after so much exercise, so uh, different variations of diet, um, different fluctuations of uh, weight loss, I, I just realized this. It's not going to. This it's is not karma, it's you okay. know. So I was like, how do I, how do I correct karma? <laughs> so 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 my my most important question for a lot of patients who we who we do a small interview with is why? Yeah, so my, my, my biggest why is, is so that I can feel confident, you know, going swimming and, and, and not having to be concerned about, you know, what I think as well as what others may, may think. Um, because, I, you know, it's, it's, it's embarrassing to yes. have to, have to if I am, no, I, I know that. I, 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 day, I can understand that. But to be in shape one day and, and not to have man breasts but a six pack, you know, it's like, you know, that would be really embarrassing. So I'm like, you know, I, I want to. Yeah. You know, no, I, I, I can actually empathize on that because we do, almost everyone has the same situation and uh, a lot of them feel have problems in their relationships because of this. And that's what we've, we've come across. Uh, some of them have problems in sports. So it's not just about swimming. Swimming for you might be a recreation, but a large number of people have problems in sports. They just don't feel confident mm -hmm. in um, getting into sporting activities. And in fact, there are children in school who drop studies because of this. Mm -hmm. So this is something which we are seeing in India a lot. And uh, we've seen dramatic transformation in the psychology of a patient who undergoes this procedure. Mm -hmm. So do you think you will be a happier person with this? Um, I think more confident when it comes to taking my shirt off, um, um, you know, being very involved in, you know, bhakti yoga, meditation. I know I'm not this body, but at the same time, I, I, there are still things that I, 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 I identify with and, and uh, 
I don't identify with man breath, so I, uh, you know. Yeah. So, so why you were in US? I'm in India. You found me online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I searched. Um, my wife and I are, you know, doing parikram, you know, in Vrindavan. So I said, hey, you know, let me see if uh, the, the rates out here are That's much awesome. better than in the states. So I, I did several. Um, uh, uh, checking on Google and, and other sites, and um, you know, I I talked to a few doctors, and I'm sure. I I felt you know most confident in speaking with you, um, seeing your accolades and and your awards, and so I felt confident that uh, thank you, you know, thank you so much for the confidence, and we of course promise that. We are with you in your goal and we will make you achieve what you came here for. So we're going to be starting very soon and we wish, we wish him well uh, and uh, uh, absolute promise to all our patients that we will take full care of them.